Hello and welcome back to Tharic Plays More Time, City of the Damned. And welcome back to our deadly challenge. Yeah, here we are as always. So, let's see what we have going on for us. It's been a few days since I've been able to record the last episode, so I try to remember what happened last. And right now I'm drawing a blank, so there's that. <laughs> Uh, but let's just go through everything again here to give you and myself a chance to catch up here. Oh yeah, Gashkol right now is mastering War Poison, that's true, that's gonna be almost done. Sir Killalot is mastering Armor Proficient, which is gonna be done. And then we have these three guys. Sleto right now is learning Web of Steel. I remember doing that. Then we are mastering Crippling Shot. And... I actually know that I need to, to give him a skill as well. Well, his does bypass some poison resistance, so we just need to get that on our other one as well, uh, the poison expert. Uh, probably try to master it on both, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see about that. Just to give ourselves a better chance at bypassing some poison, because that's getting harder and harder. And then we have Sneak who is currently learning Fatality. That one is new, I believe. I didn't. I don't think I showed that one last time already, but I'm not quite sure one or the other. I did go for a few enchantments as well, if I remember correctly. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, it's coming back to me a little bit more. Uh, so I think that happened. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let us take a look if we have a deadly or not. So far we do not. In one day, so tomorrow, we will get our shipment or our uh, the money for our shipment. So let's see if we get that now or if there is a deadly. There is no deadly, which means I can advance further, but in that case I might be able to go for one more skill if I bring cheeses back in. Because in that case we could switch one of these two. In no, uh, this one out, I guess. More or less. <clears throat> or I could just bring Eradicator back in, although we could also go for some skills with him. Can I afford to leave out Mew Mew? That's a big question right now. We possibly have to try, I think, and it's gonna be a good time to try and get him to learn something. Uh, like Sidestep, that he doesn't have yet. He's not built towards that, that high damage skill anyway, so I should probably try to make him a bit more durable, or just give him a special attack, but I think we're gonna go with... with sidestep for now just in case he gets injured or somebody else gets injured I mean his three days is still a while but it with depending on skipping days and stuff like that uh, we might have to switch him back in and that way we could do that a bit quicker and easier okay anything else uh, we could go with Sleto but the only one I would switch out there would be Gorazon I think so we'll leave our rank 10 henchmen here for a bit. Getting those there, their last skills, is going to be a bit difficult, I feel like. Especially with the amount of skills that they have. Uh, or skill points. But we'll, we'll see, I guess. Market stock has been replenished. Okay, so we have uh, received, received our shipment requests. Uh, which is lovely, so we go up to 3,100 gold. Um, market stock has been replenished, so we can buy another mace. Do I need a... when oh, there was a helmet in there. Do I need another mace? Yes, we do. Yeah, I still have lots and lots of... Blue weapons, so we will just use that now to change it up. Okay. Where are you, first of all? Let's go with Squeal and give him the helmet. And then I am also going to just give him 
the mace. Yeah, sure. Doesn't seem horrible. Now, does it? Uh, anything else? No, I think we need to check for, for, for our mission first. So, nothing yet. Come on, give me a deadly. Hey, there we go. And it's both wallbands tightly around their wagon. Because of that, I think I'm going to try and play it a bit safer. Or not safer, play it a bit riskier. So I'm going to switch out Ashkin and switch in Sleto, which hopefully will work out. And then, yeah, he needs to be in over Eradicator, though. And I'm doing that mainly so that both of them can gain experience. And also that we might afterwards be able to give him a skill at the end, because he still doesn't have Web of Steel, and I would like to change that, if possible. Uh, yeah. So let's see what's gonna happen with this. Oh, I need to switch out Mew Mew. Yeah, that's, that's true. So Mew Mew against... Which one of these, though? Oh, I switched out the wrong one, so we need to bring Jesus back in. That's what I did wrong there last time, but... Jesus also doesn't have good weapons right now. Do I still not have an extra set of decent Warbuck pistols? It doesn't look like it, so we are once again going to switch those around a little bit. Oh boy. Okay, so Warbuck pistols. Anything else? Let me check this again. There's also none in here. Didn't hurt to look, I guess. So, we are gonna go for this. We have Gashqual. And... Oh, I actually need to switch in Sneak. I just switched him out so that he could, could learn a skill. But now that that's done, we can switch him back in so that he can get his rank 8 as well. So we've got the Fighting Claws here. He's got only got blue ones. Yeah, okay, so all of that is now correct, I believe. And now we can go. <laughs> Your scouts have discovered a rival warband in the vicinity. These there we go. So once again, we wagon, get a, making them a bit lucky here with target. Wordstone Rush. And also the Wordstone Rush being a 45% Wordstone Rush. So that's good. And let's hope that we can make that work. It'll depend. Where the word sun is, it might all be one in space. Uh, in one space, it might all be um, more on their side. That's not stopped. unusual. There could also be a demon on the map. We haven't seen that in a long time. Okay, so it's in this direction, and I just need to gather nine. That's not a lot, but we'll have to wait and see if we can make that work. But I do like the map. It's going to be a safe setup. What what are we up against? I didn't pay attention. It's Skaven versus Skaven. Oh, God. Look at their initiative. Oh, God. That's... Potentially problematic. I think. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. So I need to be very careful with how I set myself up here. Mainly because they might not come to me now, but they could get here next round very easily. And that could be bad if I go forward too much. So let's Objective let's be careful updated. here with our placement and our movement. I probably should try to get an early line of sight on them, so just so that I know what they're up to. So maybe not go up this way, but have somebody over here to... Uh, line that up and then we could also try to use this high ground position again I did that last time against that call of the possessed warband and it worked out um, really well actually so we'll just have to see about that I am going to put him right here though just so that we have this side unlocked lockdown and we do have line of sight down that um, alley as well in case they will start around here, so if one of the fast ones runs up to here next round, he's gonna be coming down this way, or he could. And so we need to be preparing for that. They are picking up words done as well, which is nice. It's yeah, probably one of these four or one uh, or this one. Not sure if they can reach the other one yet. Maybe up here, 
depending on who's very much uh, in front for them, or all the way in front for them. There we go. Huh. Big questions. Okay, so he has the mastered warp poison now, doesn't he? That means I can reduce somebody's offense points by four for a turn, if they don't resist. <sighs> so, I should probably... Can, can they get uh, poison resistance reduction skills as well? I'm not sure. I need to check that. I think that one that the Globadier has is a Globadier specific one that only they can learn, but I'm not 100% sure. And also, even if that's not the case, I think I've pretty much filled up all my passive slots by now with most of my guys. So somebody like our leader might not be able to get that. Oh, they're actually going for some decent amount of words done already. So three, two, no, five to our one right now. So where are they that they've picked up? Did they go down here and pick that up as well? Not impossible. It's a bit out of the way, but I think it could be dual. But if it's five already, it's going to be these four for sure. Maybe this one, or they actually can get up here. We'll have to wait and see. So far, we haven't spotted them in the distance. But seven or so of them in a row getting all their turns is kind of scary. <clears throat> And I'm not really in favor of that. Can we? Should we? I don't know. Let's just move along this for now and see how far we can get with everyone. There we go. So Overwatch. Um, yeah, we're probably going to gather in this uh, tri-section here and see where that's going to lead us. Why are you all the way up here? That's weird. And is jumping down better than just walking down the stairs? Uh, I'm not even gonna sing do a di 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 dum di di do. Um, okay, I apologize for that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that one worked, and it's actually not horrible because it does give me line of sight in this area. And there we go. So there is one all the way up there, which we expected to see. Do we see anybody else up there? We do not right now. So I'm going to go here because that puts us a bit closer to the remainder of our war band and not quite as far out there where if we end up charging, they will be at an advantageous position. There is a scavenge point here as well that I should try to get if we can get it through this building. Where is it? Or is it upstairs? It might be upstairs. Hello? No, I'm in the wrong building, I think. Am I? Yeah, I'm in the wrong building. Okay, let's go back. So I need to be one building over, so right here, and then to the left. And then it's upstairs. Hello? Game? No, no, I'm past it. Or it is in the other building, but it's up even further, and I just can't see that? Why am I so confused about this? What's to be confused about here? It's fine. Uh, so we're just going to put ourselves next to him. And there we go. <clears throat> Rierx. Uh, yeah, I mean... Probably just put him... Over in this general direction as well, obviously. So let's see, is there... I think this might actually not be horrible if I am like this. Because it might end uh, with us being inside the doorway, which would lead to not uh, any more of them being able to attack us, at least from, from the uh, that side over there. So that could work pretty well, I think. Can we run through this? You can. So I need to be careful there. 
and not be too aggressive here with that setup which how do I want to do this in that case do we go over here nah yes maybe yes okay let's let's just do this there we go just put ourselves in between the guys that could help us and that way I can react to either going up this way or this way depending on where they will be coming from. We will see that, I think. So they've got three in a row now again. Probably some warp guard like mine uh, near the end here, but possibly not all of them. Even though it does seem likely. But yeah, he's close enough that we might attack him next round already, but he's the only one that we can see. I assume that all the others stayed up further north so far. And that that is the reason we haven't seen them yet. So Gorzun, you will go right here. Now that I know that they could run through this, we do want to plug that hole, obviously. Okay, Sleto. Really? You're all the way up here? How did that happen? You cannot climb. How did you make it up here? Is there something you would like to tell me, Sleto? This doesn't seem plausible. <laughs> at least he's very good at jumping. I mean, he's not a white game, so of course he can. But, oh god, that was another weird and very weird reference. I'm not sure if somebody understood that. And I'm not even sure why I even know that, because when I saw that movie, I only saw it in, in German and English, so I don't actually know... I shouldn't know the original title, which I do. Um, so, yeah, there's that. <laughs> I don't know. If somebody understands it, just let me know. Started. Okay, uh, I think we're gonna delay with Radicate right now. I could use him to give myself probably more information. And they did change some stuff. They either switched weapons or got hit by some traps and or words done effects, because right now their initiative is not quite where it was. It's we we have it in there. Oh, we have some some. We were breaking it up with one of some of our own, where they had seven going in a row prior to this. I mean, it's good and bad right now, I think. But for now, we are most likely just going to no. Let's let's start moving again. So we have all of this on the line. I'm gonna loot here. Mm, nah. No, we don't need that. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. But if I do that, I might not make it back, but then we can cover this up. That's fine. Yeah, okay, let's go. Oh, we got a crit stun. <laughs> I mean, vital shots still really unlikely, but hey, it works. Now the question is, do I go out there and attack him or not? Mm, yeah, you go right here. Because my leader will get his turn before this guy. Oh, oh no. Okay, so this guy still hasn't taken his turn. This guy is new now, and he's the one that we stunned. So I'm just going to use Sneak right here to cover this. So we are going to go Numbing Poison. No. Wait. No, he doesn't have the Warp Poison. The other one has the Mastered Warp Poison, and now he's switched out. No, I'm doing something wrong here. No, he learned something else. <sighs> I'm just... Third, I'm as always, I'm confused. Just, 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 just let me die in peace. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I can't, I don't know why I'm so bad at remembering this stuff. Who has the war poison now? I think it might be Geshkol. I think it's Geshkol, who's now switched out. And I switched them back in. Oh, good. So they have a Globadier over there with an Overwatch stance. Yep. But as expected, they went more this way, although there's their leader up there apparently as well.
But they have eight words done right now between them. So hopefully we can loot some of that because it is a lot closer to them than it was to us down there. Which is gonna make it difficult for us to make the optional objective work here, but it's not impossible. Oh, there's another one. Nice, and now we can start attacking. That looks to be a verminkin, I believe. Oh, but the crits. The crits are out of this world, and we can we can have some fun. Oh, no, that was the guy up there, so we could... Oh, hello? What are you doing? Why are you doing that? Could you stop that, please? I mean, it's awesome in some areas, because it allows us to now hit two of them in a row. Or we have three, basically, and two of them are stunned, but the, the, the stunned one, I'm not sure if I really want to go for that one. Or if we even can afford to go for that one. I think we're just going to take our aim shots here at the stunned guy, just use our highest chances to hit something here. And that needs to be enough. There we go. So he's pretty much guaranteed to go down this round. I think there is no denying that. That's the question. Now, if I run this way, for one, we're going to get shot by the Overwatch shot. But it could allow us to get up there, although I think it's unlikely right now. With how this is looking. Yeah, let's not go there. Let's go this way first and go hit... This guy. Yeah, thanks to the warp mists, what else do they do? Oh, so minus poison resistance. That's a uh, double-edged sword, though. I mean, it's going to benefit me more than him right now, I think. So I'm okay with this, and we're going in like that. So I do keep my dodge, because there will be more coming. But right now, we get one guaranteed kill, one that we can soften up this round already and might be able to take down next round before anything else happens. Plus the stunned one that we could also try to reach. But I think we're going to live with him not going down. This round, instead, I'm just focusing on taking out these guys. And he doesn't need the experience anymore, but we're still going to take it so that I use my... My hit's the most efficient way. Okay, Rierx, you can really do some damage. Him, he could actually get over there. I'm so tempted. And with his critical hit chance, it would be beautiful. Could be extremely good for us. Or I could just go in there as well and hit him. So I'm... I'm not sure. Can we... We might be able to get past the Globadier without getting hit by the Globadier's Overwatch. Yeah, so I could charge in from back here. But these guys have that on lockdown. I'm just worried of going up there because I think if I do that, we're going to get overwhelmed. But it's going to be a lot of damage if I do that. I think we can risk that if I bring Sir Killalot with me. And also, I might be able to just disengage and get away. So do we... I think I charge in. Okay, no crit. Bummer, but that's okay. Next, I... Yeah, okay, we can disengage for free. Next, we do a vital strike, which unfortunately also doesn't crit. But it puts him down to about half health. And then I can disengage for free. And... No, I'm not gonna go pick up that word stun yet. I think I'm gonna go in and attack here. Right now. Like so. Uh, let's go over as far as we can get. But still keep a dodge, and there we go. So... That worked out. Uh, what's next? Probably want to see if he can also shoot the stunned guy. Oh. Well, I can for sure shoot this guy back there. It's interesting that he can't shoot me from back there.
Okay, 87% chance without an aim. I think we are going to take that right now. Oh, crit, nice. And shoot one more time, and then I'm going to go up there. Okay, perfect. So he is already dead before he gets to do anything. And yeah, we're just going to put him up here with the back to the wall, just so that if somebody decides to come up here and attack him, I get a lot of room from the other side to go in there. And he can just switch weapons. He's melee based anyways, and I'm still, I'm, I'm approaching the point where I should permanently switch his weapons to melee weapons, I think. He's getting durable enough that that makes, starts to make sense. So we'll see, we'll see. But right now, uh, their high speed was actually advantageous to me quite a bit. They attacked me very early on and I was able to retaliate so hard. Okay, Gorzon. Gorzon, I think we just bring into this guy. Yeah, let's just move through here and attack him from the other side, like so. I mean, this, this one is not stunned and we just want and need to lock him down. And then Rierx and... Uh, Rierx and uh, Sneak? Squeal? Our leader. My, 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 my memory for, for names. I, it's, it's kind of embarrassing that I still can't remember all the names of our warband. That's so dumb. <laughs> oh boy. Well, what can I do? Either way, uh, they're supposed to be the ones that deal the most damage here. We might actually have blocked in Rirx now. But who knows? I mean, we'll have to wait and see if we can take him down. He seems to be pretty durable right now. But my two rank 6 guys also just not deal a whole lot of damage yet. So let's see, can we... I might be able to get this guy... Oh! Oh, hello! No, I'm not able to get this guy killed. I should have just charged him instantly when I had the chance. I cannot disengage here either, so we are just straight up stuck. But this is just a warp guard. So that's not an issue. The issue comes from us being in a position where you can hit me with at least three guys. Oh, nice. I get three attacks by now. And that's basically the main problem here. But we'll have to wait and see. The guy here is going to recover and possibly a attack us. Has we'll see. Maybe I can kill him, actually, before it comes to that with Radicate. Yeah, it's still a 95% chance from back here, but let's move like this. Yeah, with the crit, we could actually make it work, if I get lucky. Let's see. Uh, 38. Nope, we did 35, so he survives. That's a bummer. Very close. Very, very close. Okay, he could get the word stone, and it's okay that he gets hit. Not hit there, that's even better. I was about to say it's okay that he gets hit there. If he now loses a strategy Get point out of picking updated. those up, it could be a bit of a bummer, but he's still very much out of the open, so anybody that will attack him will also be able to get surrounded quickly. And I just need to try and make this Objectives optional objective work, ideally. Wasn't the last one that we did, the one that went on forever and guys went down that I didn't want to go down and it led to me being able to make the optional as well and then I got a full recovery? I'm not sure if that was the last one. Oh, what? 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 Oh! War poison against me. That's not how that works. Only I'm allowed to use that. Could you not have that, please? How do you have that? That doesn't... That hardly seems fair. So just one attack this round, that's kind of kind of bad, and then we also just miss, which is even worse. So let's, oh, hello! He killed himself, are you freaking serious? So I don't even get experience for that. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though, that he killed himself as well. So let's see what's going to happen. Their leader is probably going to come in from the north and could be annoying, but so far nobody, uh, aside from Sir Kill, has really taken any serious damage. Well, yeah, our leader has. Um, so sneak, that's the word. 
And we just have to wait and see. That is their leader. Where is he? Why is this so weird? Okay, he is not going for Sir Killop, but instead going over here for Trice. That's fine, especially if he misses twice. Oh, he gets four attacks, though, at least. Oh, no, at least he does get... He should get four attacks. He doesn't have eight points. Oh, no, he probably has eight, but he charged once, so... That costs three, so there's just nothing there. Okay, not a lot of movement for us in that direction, but that's okay. Oh, wow, okay, he has quite the range on him, doesn't he? Is that the... Another hero? No, I don't know. Let's see. No, so he just had a good charge range there. Okay, we have... Jesus... What do we do with our cheeses? Who can I shoot from here? Oh, yeah. So the bummer is I can't really go up there to get the high ground that easily right now. So him, we're not too worried about. I should probably try to hit their leader, shouldn't I? But 44% is just not good, so let's go for this guy after all. But we are going to go with some nice aim shots here. Since we can, and we should. Or do I want to go with one 65% crippling shot? Let's try, because it's gonna allow me to reload again. Oh god, yeah, he's dead. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to reload otherwise, uh, so that's kind of nice. And I don't want to move. He's taken care of. Do we, what do we do with Squeal? Do we go after the leader? I think I go into the warp guard here. I think I like that a bit more. Um, but all the way on the other side, possibly, hopefully without getting shot from... Over there somewhere? Oh yeah, he's back there in that nook. And I still need to see about getting the word stone. Or looting them, basically. But we'll we'll see. We've got we've got a bit time a bit more time yet before they have to start checking. I mean we've got three engaged right now. We've got four engaged actually. Sorry. But let's see, we have one that's close to going down, plus one that's somewhat on the way there. Good, failed his dodge. Wow, okay. Very good dodge chance on his side. Uh, so we got pretty pretty lucky there to have made that work. And let's see. But we also missed one. Very good hit chance, but it happens. So 57, which one is that? Okay, he's back there, I believe. Yep, there we go. So he's coming close. We, we've we got targets. It's it's not... We don't have a lack of targets right now. Since he's stunned, we probably just want to go for our three normal attacks and not the, the two high crit ones. Our crit chance, is, crit chance is already increased, and as you can see, we are very much making use of that fact. But I think I am going to delay now and not take my last hit here yet, because he does need the experience, but... Sleto or... No, not Sleto. Gorzon needs it. So he can use that. And we can shoot from up here, which is even better. What the hell? Oh, careful approach. That makes shooting here kind of bad. Can I... Okay, yes. Good. So I am still going to take this these high ground aim shots and hope that they're gonna hit. They're not... Good, but what can you do? Really, I can jump down there? I did not expect that. Maybe I should have done that if I had paid enough attention. Okay, yeah, we missed. Not unexpected and gone in to, to melee range. That probably would have been better. In hindsight, didn't pay enough attention. I was just, yeah, sure, let's make use of his high ground here. Uh, let's, let's not think about it further. Maybe also should have just gone over there and shoot this guy. Maybe could have gotten a lot of sight there. So we parried one and the other one just didn't deal a lot of damage. So Killot is going to be stuck there because his damage, although not bad by now, is still not 
really comparable to what Rirx could do, for example. And I think we also missed the other guy over there once, so that's a problem. Okay, yeah, that's two automatic hits, and he's just gonna go down. And then we still have our two-on-one. The question is, can I move Rirx out of here? Because that might not be possible. He might be stuck back there, and then all the delaying would have been not helpful. Oh no, we can move Sleto out of here, so let's do that. You know what, let's start by checking for Wordstone. No, that cost a point. Now it doesn't. Okay, Objectives we need... Updated. What do we need? We need five more, don't we? So that one over there is blocked right now. That one's taken care of. Uh, Rex is going to go in over there, I believe. Yeah, so I think we're just going to move him up towards Sir Killalot. Hopefully without getting shot, but that should work. Okay, yeah, but I'm going to loot this guy as well. Just see if he has some wordstone. And then we can do that. Oh, he actually has. Good. And let's take the fighting claws as well. I Objective doubt we'll get two updated. more with him. But that puts us very close already. We need just two more now. So let's go in here and see what we can get in terms of kills. And all we need is obviously still the, the two-on-one. Just, just lock them down. Make them check we have a good advantage by now. And we just need to see this through. Then we can make this work very, very safe. So with his three attacks, once I get a purple... I mean, I could switch him back to a one-handed weapon, but I actually like having a halberd as well. So as soon as we can get a purple halberd, which is going to increase our damage even further, he is going to be able to deal some serious damage, at least definitely over 100 per round. So we've got all of this going on. I think I am going to warp poison where I stand just so that the leader, because he will get around, can't do anything. I will not be able to dodge because of that, but that is also okay. And then we're going all the way on the other side and going in here. There we go. Okay, he resisted the stun, unfortunately. But he still has a lowered a hit chance now, so... Yeah. Oh, all alone success. Bummer. But realistically, looking at this, especially if we dodge... Uh, we're not really in danger here. It's not a lot of damage, especially if he goes for a vital strike instead of two normal strikes. Okay, Sneak, we need more Wordstone. I don't really want to go in there and attack, because that's still a bit too scary for my taste, but I am going to pick up this shard Objectives updated. and that shard. That we're going to try to make it back towards that verminkin that went first. And with four points left, we should be able to get back there uh, and attack. That's, that's as simple as that. Okay, sneak. Go back. Let's see. Yeah, I am taking a little bit more damage out of that, but once again, that's not horrible and we do get two attacks here so that's nice okay that's one we haven't seen yet and we just need one more word stone where do we get that if I can't loot it off of anybody probably back here somewhere because they might or might not have some, so I need to be careful here. All on success. I mean, yeah, 95% chance to make that roll. Let's face it, there was a 5% chance. Oh, yeah, I know. Very, very, very good comment here. There was, but I mean, there was, but still. Let's state the obvious, shall we? There was a 5% chance for him to fail. Okay. Uh, wow. Okay, now... What? Okay, he's Sleto Squealer. It's not quite where I, what I thought. Almost. 
do I just want to shoot in here or not? That's the question, though, because I could also try and get some wordstone, basically. And that might be better, but I think he's too far away, so we'll just... Yeah, we'll, we'll take our 70% shot with the vital shot. That did not work. But... Yeah, let's just do this. Okay, there we go. So I could potentially at least try to also just delay this for a little bit to make sure that we do get the, the optional. But let's see how it plays out. Where are you going? Why is he not coming in to shoot us? I don't understand. But yeah, let's... Let's see about that word stone. The one that is back there. I hope it's not all the way up in the building, which is why I'm... Okay, so that takes care of me going back. And then apparently I'm also on the wrong side. No, it's... I, I thought I saw a glow, but it might have been... Nothing. Um, so, I don't know. Yeah, it appears to be... It's either upstairs or even further up. Um, can't, doesn't change anything that he can't do anything this round now with this. The crows of my asthma cost me a bit of movement. Not a whole lot, but just enough for it to be annoying. Might have been able to see the words done otherwise. Also pretty good because we have him soften up enough now that we can take him down uh, at the end of the turn with one of the guys that does need the experience, so that's always a bonus. Let's see, that's his dodge gone, so that's fine. And then we hit him. Let's see, there we go. So next up, the ones that deal the damage. Well, part of it. Rearx. Do we go for three attacks or do I go for the vital strikes? I think since he isn't stunned, I like the vital strikes. 41% crit chance is pretty good. It might be better, but if I can get him stunned, uh, our hit chance will be better and all that stuff. It didn't happen, but it was worth a try, I think. I'm actually not sure which one would be better here by now. Oh yeah, he can jump down now, and we're gonna do that now. I'm gonna try again for the Wordstone once again. I'm not worried about the Wordstone, or about, about winning this now, because we have two that are very close, and afterwards they might have to check. And we basically have none that are very close, and I would just like to see about that. Oh, it's right there? No, that's a chest. We're... I'm a bit further north, but there is also some wordstone here, apparently, but it's also not accessible through this side. So let's try this again. Okay, I think it's probably... No, yeah, it's right next to me. But this means it's all the way up there. Yeah. So this doesn't help us. Is there other word stone that we could reach from here? Unfortunately, I do not think so. Uh, no, I'm not gonna go back in there. It's gonna cost me a bit, but that's okay. I'm going to switch weapons now. And then we are going to attack you. Because the that bag over there might still contain some wordstone, and I'd like to figure that out now. Also, the leader could have some wordstone. Right now, I just like to, to take these guys down so that we can figure out if there is worth done or not. If there isn't, there isn't, but also getting these two guys might not be enough to make them route, so we have to also consider that. 
their morale is still pretty high. Their leader is going to be a big blow to, to that. But the Warp God might or might not be, depending on how high his leadership value is. But I think they are very likely to fail if it comes to that. So we should just try to... Mm, okay, there's more and more. So this is actually not ideal now. We've only got two here. But, I mean, it's not that much damage that they're dealing here. So let's see what's going to happen. I mean, yeah, okay. <laughs> Sleto actually is taking some damage there. So Gorzon, please just hit him twice now and take him down. That would be nice. Thank you. So he's taken out two already. That's good. Nothing. Also can't... L no, he did already loot the guy over there. The one, at least. Um, but I can also check this now. And there it is. Okay. Objective complete. That's what I was hoping for. But then we are going to go up here. I'm not sure if there's going to be a two-on-one in this case. I don't think so. But we should just go in there and deal with that. Okay. Just make sure that both of them can take their turns, which now they, they should be able to. Okay, Sleto. Delays. We're gonna hit the guy over there with Sir Killalot as much as possible without trying to kill him, but soft him up enough that then Sleto can, can get the kill. Pretty straightforward, I think. And if we hit with all three of our attacks, he's gonna be very close. There we go. So Sleto should now just need one hit to take him down. So they still have three more words on lying around. I think it might actually be on their leader. Oh, come on. He's got one or two hit points left. If I miss now, I'm gonna be... Yeah, we miss now. And he had six left. Ah, oh, seriously? Seriously? <laughs> it's kind of a bummer. I mean, we have Jesus, for example, who has could get that, but I probably am going to go for the Wordstone with him. I'm a bit worried about going in there, but we might also just want to do that, but we also can't reach, I think. Yeah, that's not going to work. So Sneak also is not... or also still needs the experience. So... Why not do this? I mean, sure. What's their morale looking like? Okay, they are not at routing yet. He doesn't have Wordstone. We didn't have room for it anyways, but he doesn't have words, Wordstone. And then... Go for this Joker, sure. Their leader is going to be the one that will push them over the edge, though. Let us see if they can deal a little bit more damage. He is a bit exposed here, but he's now obviously going to go up to rank 8. But he's... Uh, the the Warp Guards aren't the only ones. They're the ones that need them the most because they're both rank 6. But um, getting him up from rank 7 to rank 8 with a bit of a bonus doesn't hurt. Let's see. Wow. Okay. Sure. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> so much poison damage he kills. He just dies. I mean, sure. That's fine. Can we... Can I get an angle there to loot him with him? We can. Let's take a look. He does have more wordstone. And a sword and some shuriken. So let's try to loot those. It might not happen. Because... Jesus gets his turn next. Uh, yeah, just go there. Really? What's the 68? There we go. Aw, oh, bummer. I do get a second try, though, without the vital shot. And there we hit. Okay. The good thing about all of this is, if they make their first route check, which they could, we would still be in a position to... Um to take down more of them quickly. So Fragment, Shuriken, and the Sword will take all of it. We 
we've got, I mean, we do have two more targets right now that we are in combat with. And we see even more than that. So we, we could do something there. So we probably take our 60% crippling shot. Nope, we miss once again. This might have been among the easiest deadly missions we've done so far. Interestingly enough. Uh, sure, let's throw a poison globe, hit both of them just for the added bonus. There we go. They both resist. They make their outcheck. So the poison globe wasn't actually bad. A bad wasn't actually a bad idea. Let's see what he ends up doing now. Yep, he gets the high ground finally for himself and throws a poison globe. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Okay, he hit him. He crit him, but he didn't stun him. Which could have... Wow, same over there. Okay, we are... And now I'm scared again. Because these guys, if they get their turns, could take down both. Which is pretty horrible right now. Um... Problem is, if I attack there, we might not have the room... And I want Rierks to be able to go in there and deal damage. But I need a second one in there, so I think what I'm going to try and risk is... Although that one up there is not the problem. This guy is the problem. But we're still going to try. What? That can crit? That looked like it was crit damage against him. Okay, let's go all the way over. That should leave enough room. And could cost both of them their turns. Okay, but mm, I, I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. Never speak the words easy on a deadly mission because you're gonna regret it and you're gonna regret it a lot. Okay, Trice will not go in there. Instead, he's gonna go up there and make sure that this guy cannot shoot us again in case it does. he does get another round. I don't think it's very likely, but you never know. God damn. Both got critted, none got stunned. Ooh. If they were stunned because they get their turns before before my guys in melee there, that would have been bad. So now the question is do we shoot or do we go in and attack as well? It's probably the best we can do and hope for. Yeah, this does not look promising and I won't get more than one guy in there, I think. So let's go in after their Globadier as well and just stay in melee. Just do this. Um, possibly charge in as well. Two, three, yeah, we don't have the points yet. Okay, so far so good. So he's pretty much on lockdown now, but we still need to figure out, or still have to wait and see if we can pull this out or not. Rierx definitely wants to use some more poison here, I think. For him, it doesn't really matter if he can dodge or not at the end of this, he just needs to be able to reach, and that he can do. So do I Vital Strike, or do I hit him three times? That's the question. <sighs> Is there a way for me to see my crit chance prior? I don't think so, and I really should know that. I think I'm going with the three normal attacks. Because a crit chance is pretty high. Okay, and it worked right away. In this case, and I was just giving myself a better uh, three chances to roll the dice, basically, to get a crit. Which might or might not be the right call here. I'm not sure if we poisoned him or not. I hope we did. All on success, but that one is not the one that matters, because that's not the one that can take somebody down, I think. He is not next to Sleto. Looks like it is, but I don't think he can attack him. Either way, he didn't. But the one is stunned, and he might also be affected by War Poison, which would probably cost him everything, but he also just fails us all alone, so this is good. Perfect. So we might be able to take this guy down, which would pretty much, I hope, guarantee for them to route in that case. 
I mean, it's never a guarantee aside from taking out all the heroes and leaders and dropping their morale to zero as well. But we'll see. Oh, the Lingering Mist might have been able to kill him there if I hadn't been careful. Or if we had been unlucky. Not quite sure. Yeah, we're not gonna get him. Almost, though. So then this guy... Yeah. Ooh, got, got close again there, but I think we should be able to pull through here. Huh? Bit of a mist. Without any losses. But let us wait. A new round I shouldn't be started. so hasty with my statements. <laughs> Can I get him up there without that? Do I want to take him down? I think I want to get my leader to, to get that kill. So I just, yeah. I'm going to take my 57% shot up there. I could have gone for two aims, which I probably should have done. But right now, I don't think this is going to matter much anymore. And I just wanted to do something that wasn't completely useless. So, like, nothing with him. Let's see. So we drop him now. There we go. So he's out. And now they will have to check. He's going to move away and not do anything. Else, I think just get get some distance or a lot of distance. Let's see route check, and they make it again. Wow. Okay, unexpected, but I'm happy that I locked down the guy up uh, upstairs so that he can't shoot me anymore. Oh, he could still throw poison globes though. Mm, yep, I hope he fails his route check. Nope, he makes it. He vents. That's something I also still need to learn. Switch his weapons. And attacks. Okay, he doesn't throw a poison globe down there, I think. Hopefully. Yeah, sure. You do that damage. That's fine. I have no issues with that. He didn't kill Sleto. That's what would what, what, what have been the problem there. Okay, let's... Let's go up there and... To kill this guy. One crippling shot. We hit. Good. Okay, and I can still go for an aim. I wasn't quite sure, but that's nice. 83. Also a hit. Yeah, he's gonna go down, and then we've got the warp guard down there. Did I get all their heroes, or are we missing a hero? I'm not sure right now. I think we only got two heroes so far that up there would be number three which means the guy that we haven't seen yet is the one that we're still missing but we can check that one two three no i've gotten all of them once that's taken care of i think so once this guy is down they will be forced to route And I probably should have delayed to get the kill with him. Oh, I can still throw a poison globe and try to get the kill like that. Oh no, he's immune. He's immune. He's not gonna get hit by that. That's fine. Oh, there we go. And goodbye. So now we're done, done. And that was not Skaven speak, but just me saying that. Okay, take those. We got an extra cluster out of it, so I'm not complaining. See anything else? No, I think we just end our turn there. Yeah, their morale is down to seven. And I think we're going to try to get this guy as well. Let's apply some more poison, go in and hit him three times. Maybe we get another stun. I mean, we could also just get the kill if we're lucky. Yeah, okay, well, bye. He's just, just going to go down now, and their morale is just gonna be instantly at zero and they won't even get to check they will just be done bye bye there we go uh, <laughs> it sounded a little bit lackluster because we're the only one there yeah we took out nine out of ten god damn wow 
Good experience, optional objective, and nobody went down. Could it get better than this? I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Much, much done, done. Sneak high far. Yes. Oh, God. We have a lot of that ahead of us once I get to the story missions again. Outstanding. Oh, wow. That was a lot. Another offense point is lovely. Uh, offense point is lovely as well. She's is dangerously close to nine. Let's see. Yeah, I mean we got two that got critted, which will have to be switched out. Fantastic. There we go. Gore's in hitting rank seven. So let's see. We've got some purple clothing. A purple spear is also not horrible, and we go up to three hundred word stone. So let us pay for treatment, pay upkeep. As well. And then we can switch a roo around. So Sneak goes out and Geshtkol goes in. And also Sleto is out, in which case do I can I afford to now bring in one this low guy here? Can we do that? If I keep him ranged, possibly. I think I'm gonna try. So I'm going to give him the shurikens of warding, and in melee, it doesn't matter too, too much. Might as well give him a, a higher damage stuff. No, we, we need to go with maces here, mainly because his hit chance will be horrible. And we need to make sure that he can actually hit something. So let's do that. These guys are now going to learn some stuff, but I'm gonna do that off-camera. We're gonna go for skills on both of these, I think. But we are going to send away all of our wordstone. Uh, right there, and just see what we can do. So, all but one, because we mm, want 295 here, actually, for the Drop. So that's another almost 3,000 gold. And there we go. So from now on, on I'm going to save my words done again. But with 6,000 gold, I can go for a lot of enchantments and a lot of gold and some equipment if need be as well. So that's cool. <sighs> What's our, our experience looking like? Oh, wow. Okay, we're already halfway there. Making the optional objective really makes that go... A lot quicker. That's why it took so long in the beginning, I think, because I just couldn't get the optional objective ever. Uh, but now we're, we're capable to do that on a regular basis, thanks to it being wordstone rushes and us being actually able to pick up the wordstone and not just have to focus on fighting, so that's cool. Ah, but yeah, that's also where we're going to end it for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see me play more and more time, just stick around. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope that you will tune in next time and have a nice day. Bye, guys.